more important now than ever to be checking your hotel rooms for bed bugs and your Airbnbs. I'm Cece and I'm a flight attendant and I share all things travel. When I fly as a flight attendant, I don't get to choose which hotels I stay in. We generally stay in pretty nice hotels. The reason I'm so diligent about checking is because I've actually had bed bugs in my Airbnb. First, you can see that there's carpet here and then there's hard floors. So my bags never go past the hard floor onto the carpet and definitely never go onto the bed. So here's what I do and I check every single corner and I've already slept on this bed, so no judgment. This the look, this one has a mattress cover, I go carefully. And I check these creases. I do this when the lights are off and I use my light, my flashlight, and I check the creases. And then I lift up my, and look underneath here. More and more of the seating is changing to hard surfaces like leather instead of fabric, but this one is fabric, I just don't go near it. And if you're using the luggage rack, I just look a little in these little crevices. If you do find bed bugs or what you think is evidence of bed bugs, go ahead and call down to the front desk and tell them what you think you have found. I suggest you get another room and then do your checks again. A lot of times they'll send housekeeping up and they will take a look at the room to see if they see the evidence. Bed bugs are not new, they've been a problem forever, but there has been a rise in them recently. And, and if you get a bed bug in your bag and then you put your carry-on bag on the plane, you, you see how it just can continuously spread? I mean, those suckers are sneaky. Okay, kind of like lice, bed bugs do not like tea tree oils. They also don't like peppermint oils and they don't like lavender. So you can make a spray and spray it on the outside of your bag and that could be acting as a repellent. Another thing that you can use is lemongrass oil. That is also another repellent. 